MSP International Airport also busy as travelers need to catch their flights home. And let's check in right now on the conditions at the airport. We have news if you're still waiting for your passport for future travel. Our Barrett Leone is live at MSP International watching both of those stories for us. Barrett, what can you tell us? Hey, good morning, Sherla. Yeah, we have hit kind of a lull here at the airport. Wait times have gone down. We're only 20 minutes, 10 minutes on either side of TSA checkpoint. But uh, you were going to, earlier this morning, you're, you would have wanted to give yourself plenty of time because those lines were, were up a little bit. And another thing you're going to want to give yourself plenty of time for is time to get your passport. The Department of State has expected to get more applications than it ever has before. So the main thing you're going to want to do in order to get your passport in time and set yourself up for success is to plan ahead. There's no line outside the Minneapolis Passport Agency. Quite awful, honestly. But getting in is tough. We expedited it thinking we'd get it maybe like end of June, middle of June and we clearly still don't have it because we're here. The Department of State is expected to surpass a record of 22 million passports issued this year. We were getting over 500,000 applications per week, and that is simply um, extraordinary uh, in terms of what, we've, what we're used to. Right now, it could take 10 to 13 weeks to get your passport. And if you pay an extra $60 to expedite it, seven to nine weeks, still it's not a guarantee. We started the process in April and we're still going and I'm supposed to leave on Saturday. Your hope is diminishing at every second. I feel like should we cancel? I mean, Danielle Bresky has like spent countless hours on hold with the National Passport Agency in hopes to snag any open appointment. I'm sorry, but at this time, I don't have any appointments available across the nation. Alrighty. But time is running out. Her flight to Italy takes off in a matter of days. We go anywhere do anything. In the midst of this backlog, the Department of State recommends checking your passport now. Some countries require the document to be valid up to six months beyond the arrival date. Avoid heartbreak and buy tickets after you get your passport. And if you're traveling within a year, renew now. We don't want to see missed trips. We don't like stressed travelers or applicants. We're trying our hardest to meet demand, but this demand is unprecedented. Definitely just a stressful time for travelers waiting for that passport. Now, a good update for you guys. We did stay in touch with Danielle. She was able to get her passport. She got an appointment in Denver, drove down there, and is, I think, flying out today to Italy. So good news for her. That's definitely good news for her. Uh, Barrett, quick question for you. So for parents, like if I'm taking my family with me, I'm taking kids with me, what are the gu guidelines for children? What, what do we know about that? Yeah, good question, AJ. So children under 16, 16 and under, their passport's only valid for five years. So if your child has had a passport in the past, uh, it might not be valid anymore. Adults, it's for 10 years. So just to uh, confirm that, make sure you look at your passport, see what that's where your child's passport stands. Uh, and then you also will need to renew in person for a child. And that can oftentimes be done at a library or a government building. Adults, we can just mail it in. Children, you'll need to go in person to renew. Right. That's important information. Thanks Our, so much, Barrett. Yeah, we appreciate it.